It's time to talk about this Harmonique and Jesse Wu drama. Child, this is a long story. So originally it was supposed to be Felicia Ross or Misty Jean on the song, but they had other collabs going on. And he was talking to Jesse Wu at the time about, you know, the things going on in Haiti with the earthquake and uh, the president dying and stuff like that. And she was being very sweet about it. You know, they were asking for fundraisers and all that. I think she was being very, very active during this time. So um, he realized that, you know, she could sing and all the other girls that they were going to work with are booked and busy right now. So they asked Jessie to get on the song. At first, Jessie hesitated because she has a history of talking shit about Haitian men as jokes. Um, so, but Max said, oh, it's okay. Nobody's even going to be worried about that. Nobody's even going to th remember things like that. So just hop on the song and we'll be good. So they get into the studio and Jessie immediately asks them what is she going to get in return for doing this song and they asked her what did she want and she said that she wanted a song in exchange for doing this feature. So she didn't ask for money, she asked for a song. That song being Take Control, which she released this week. And so part of me is thinking like, is this a PR stunt? But you know what, whatever. I honestly don't think the Haitian music industry is that clever to do PR stunts, but... I think this is some real true beef. So they start recording the song and her manager was there. So she, he wanted her to, he or she, I don't know who the manager is, but they wanted her to translate two lines into English for her English audience. So the producer, Sanders, which is a which is one of the members of Harmonique, decided to translate, you know, one or two lines in the song. And they claim that Jesse only added two words, which was like chemistry and infinitely or infinitely infinity or something like that then she proceeded to ask if she's gonna get writing credit on the song they said yes she later asked for 50 percent allegedly which was crazy because she only added two words allegedly nonetheless the song is done and i think they had started recording her song which was the song take control that she released this week so time for the video shoot. They tried to fly her down to Miami to do the shoot. Um, but apparently something, I think, I don't know. She, she was booked with Southwest Airlines and I don't know if you are able to choose your seat. But she threatened them and said like, hey, yo, if I don't get a seat on this plane, I'm not coming and doing the video. So then they had to cancel her flight, book her another flight so she can come down to Miami to do the video shoot. He said that when they were doing the video shoot, she had a lot of times where she was happy and then there was a lot of times where she was just mad for no reason or just cussing people out for nothing, basically. Part two, basically he goes on to say that, you know, um, there was, I think it was like the second day of shooting where Jesse said she was hungry and they were trying to beat the traffic in Miami to get to the location that they were gonna shoot the shoot at. And he said, okay, let's just wait and let's just beat this traffic and then get to the place that we're going to be and then we'll get you food. She started cutting him out in the car. So he immediately just took one exit and went to Wendy's and got the food for her. So you kind of see like she's kind of difficult. Nonetheless, the video comes out. The song comes out. Everybody's happy. Everybody's cool. Cool. Now it's time to get into these performances. So she was supposed to perform December 24th, I believe, and um, January 1st with Harmonique. So they had offered her 1,500 for the 24th and I think 2,500 for the first. Cool. Considering she only has one verse on one song, that's pretty good, especially in the Haitian music industry because there's not that much money. On top of that, they were going to pay for her flight and her hotel. So, yeah. So their manager basically tried to get Jesse to promote the event. They tried to, told her to post the flyer and do like a video saying like, oh yeah, I'm going to be at this event, this, that, and the third, which is normal for artists to do. I think he said they she posted the flyer, but she didn't make the video. And the manager like asked her like five times to make the video to say that she's going to be at the event. After the fifth time, Jesse goes off. She starts cussing the manager out and saying like, oh, this is your event. You're the promoter. Tell the promoter to promote the event. I'm not a freaking promoter and all that. The manager is like twice her age, right? And in the Haitian community, if somebody it could be your father, you don't talk to people like that. It's just 
that's what it is. You don't talk to people like that. So nonetheless, the manager ended up blocking her because she was being disrespectful, allegedly. So the screenshots that she was posting in December, he says they were green because he blocked her. They were two iPhones going back and forth. He blocked her and that's why the messages were green. That's why she, when she was texting and t asking people about the hotel and the flights and the stuff like that, she wasn't getting a response because the manager blocked her because she cussed him out. For what? For asking her to promote an event that she's going to be at. But instead of going and asking MACD right here or any other band member like, hey, what's going on? I haven't heard anything from your manager or whatever. She goes on Instagram and posts screenshots and saying that she's not being paid while she has a deposit in her hand. Part three, I think this should be the last part, but mind you, since the beginning, Jessie was basically stating like if anything went wrong, she would take the song off the of stream streaming platforms. So that's why I believe that Harmony went and did the song with Vanessa Dizzyle on the album, as you can see here. It's not Chessie Wu, it's Vanessa Dizzyle, which is an upcoming artist in Haiti. He claimed that he did the song with her just so they wouldn't lose the song, just in case Jessie decided to be petty and take the song off of streaming platforms. He said he would never say if Jessie sang it better or if Vanessa sang it better. It just needed to be done, basically. Here are the screenshots that Jesse posted yesterday. Grown ass men trying to use me to get their song off the ground. Girl to get their song off the ground wouldn't pay me to perform though. And as y'all can read. Cool, cool, cool. They, they were trying to look for background vocals because they didn't have enough money to, the promoter didn't have enough money to pay Jesse to be there because she was asking for a lot. This is where she's claiming that this is proof that they asked they, that she had writing credit on the song and stuff like that and that she was doing shit for free and this that and a third keep my name out your mouth enjoy the wave i gave you which is funny and then she calls him a roach which is so funny because which is crazy to say because as artists they're actually more popular than you like they're a very well-established band in Haiti, and they barely be in any drama. This is the first time they've collabed with somebody, and it's in this much drama. So I think the odd one out is you. Not only that, but she claims that she did stuff for free when y'all clearly talked about the fact that they were going to produce you a song in exchange for your feature. I know it's not a money transaction. It's not physical cash, but it's still a transaction. You didn't do the song for free. You did it for this song in exchange. Not only that, but she claims that she never got paid for the shows when they actually already gave you the deposit. You had the deposit in your hand and you decided to cuss out their manager, which is why they never contacted you about a hotel, about a flight. When you could have called Mac, you could have called Sanders, you could have called Nick and Son, all of the members of the band and asked them what was going on. But you wanted to be petty and go on Instagram and expose somebody like I don't get it. At the end of the day, the Haitian community is connected and Harmonique is connected with a lot of people. So this is going to be a very bad look for her. Like, I feel like a lot of artists, if she's trying to get into the Haitian music, music industry, which I don't think it's a good idea, honestly, she should stay in the American market. Um, but they're all going to know, like, it's not a good idea to work with her.